In this video, I'm going to show you the first steps towards creating our uh, data warehouse. I will complete the steps in a similar way as I've done with the previous videos and work with this test database. But of course, your version should be called uh, Northwind DB instead of test database and uh, Northwind DV instead of test uh, data warehouse. So, but just follow along. So first I will expand the database node so I can see what I have in here and we can see that we are missing a data warehouse for our test database. So I will right click, go new database and it will be test data warehouse, DWH for data warehouse. I will use all the default options. So just click okay. Now let's document the steps that we just took using SQL code so that we can document it for our hand in or so that we have the SQL code that we can put on our client server and actually install the data warehouse there automatically. We right click test data warehouse, script database S, create two new query editor window. And the script is generating, done. So now we have all the steps needed to create the data warehouse. On page 330 in the book, Kimball recommends creating a separate database schemas to hold the staging tables rather than mixing them in with the queryable data warehouse database. Let's create different schemas. So the schemas we can use to identify whether or not the table is belonging to the staging area or to the final uh, area of the data warehouse. In order to create those schemas, let's uh, expand this test data warehouse node, go into security. You can see there's a lot of security options here. What we're going to use is this one for schemas. Right click, new schema. Let's do a stage schema for the staging area in which data is not in its final form and it's not cleansed, but it's just for retrieving it from the source database. Then click OK. If you expand, you can see now that we have a staging schema. Let's create another schema, the schema that we're going to use for all our tables in which data is in its final form in the data warehouse. Let's call that EDW. So EDW stands for Enterprise Data Warehouse. Let's click OK. Now we need these uh, schema creations also to happen automatically when we're going to install the data warehouse on our client server. So in order to have that as part of the documentation, documentation as well. Right click stage, script schema S, create two, and let's do clipboard this time. So clipboard, now it's in my clipboard. If I press control V, it's going to uh, uh, show up here. So now it's part of the first step, right? Then if we take this and copy it and put EDW here, then we don't have to go through the point and click again. So we can also just do it that way. And uh, let's save this file as first step. So file, save SQL as, find a nice place. Let's do one create data warehouse and click save. Now that we have our database for our data warehouse created and we have created the stage schema in order to separate the data from its uh, untransformed form into its transformed form, we can start creating our tables by either clicking, right clicking the tables node, going new table, or we can return back to our ESTA diagram that we created in a previous video. In this, we have the dimensional model of how we want to store our data in the staging table. So now if we go into tools, and then under the ER diagram, it says export SQL. Now click this, then choose a name for storing your, and a location to store your uh, SQL code in and click the export. Go ahead and open the SQL file that you just generated in ESTA. It's going to look something like this, create table, create table, and then all the different fields. So as far as I know, ESTA doesn't support schemas. So what you need to do now in order to actually use the schemas that we created is go in and every time you see a, a reference to a table, put stage 
dot in front of it. This addresses the schema so that it's not a table created in the standard schema, which is called the DBO schema. So let's just do it for a table a dim customer. Let's see what happens if I just execute this bit of, of the, the code. It completes successfully. If we go in here and refresh the table section, we see that a, a dim customer table has been generated in the stage schema. So if we run this code again, the one that creates the stage dim customer table, we're going to have an error. Let's see. The error says there's already an object named dim customer in the database. So what we would also like to add to this code is a check to see if the table is created, because if it is created, then we do not want to create it. This is a, a kind of error handling in SQL. So rather than typing that, I'm going to show you how you can generate that code automatically from Management Studio. If you look at this stage dim customer that we have on the left hand side, then script table S, drop two and create new query editor window. Then we see that some syntax is generated that says if exists, and then it's looking for this dim customer table in the sys objects table. Then drop table. So we can also add if not exists. So if not exists is what we're going to use. Let's grab that code and put it in here. If not exists, then create table. Now let's execute the, this bit again. We see that it completes successfully. That is because if the table doesn't exist in the sys objects, then it doesn't execute the next bit of the statement.